What's going on? Welcome back to the video. I said I got to give it a bit of a break. Let's get this back. This is none other than Young Zay. That's my Mass DPR live. You know what I'm saying? I know DPR Ian's been killing me. You know what I'm saying? He came out. You know what I'm saying? As an artist. You know what I'm saying? Before he was behind the camera and shit. Now he became an artist. You know what I'm saying? And now they're, you know what I'm saying? Putting out DPR live stuff as well. And I believe his new album's coming out as well. So I'm super excited for that. I um. I believe this is a single from that new album, I believe, you know what I'm saying? This is called Yellow Cab. Look up the official music video and the English subtitles, man. So without any further ado, we're gonna put the, you know what I'm saying, headphones straight in, man. <sighs> you ready? Alright, let me calm down, let me calm down. Let's go. Things have been very different for me ever since I met Candy. What well, Candy? Candy? I never met anyone quite like her before. Why are you covering my eyes like that? I was that? just going about my business like any other Saturday afternoon. I love that very, you know what I'm saying, retro vibe going on. Okay. Right, oh cool. no. Sweet. Sweet oh. Jesus. Job. There's so many things going on. I love how, you know what I'm saying, with the scratches and, you know what I'm saying, the different beats going on, you know what I'm saying, how they kind of like choreographed almost, you know what I'm saying, what they were doing in the visuals, you know what I'm saying. I love the different, you know what I'm saying, very pop art type of colors, the very retro, you know what I'm saying, um, I guess setting, you know what I'm saying, to the music video uh, mu uh, music video as well. And they just with, with DPR, with these motherfuckers, man, there's so many shit going on that, I, you know what I'm saying, you can't miss the beat. You're gonna, you're gonna start it, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna go all the way back here, man. I never met anyone uh. quite like her before. Uh-huh. I was just going about my business like any other Saturday Like the jazzy background music, too? Without a care in the world. Uh-huh. That's what I mean. The way the way to connect the sound and the visual. Amazing. Alright, cool. Sweet. Sweet Jesus. Sweet, 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 Color correction, you know what I'm saying? The shit they've done with the colors, you know what I'm saying? With the visuals is just so dope to me every time it gets me, man. These these motherfuckers just stay making movies instead of music video. I think they, they got shit twisted, man. You guys are making a music video, you know what I'm saying? Not movies, but these guys' quality is just so, you know what I'm saying? High, it's like they obviously, you know what I'm saying? Try to reach that, you know what I'm saying? Benchmark that they put for themselves, but every time they exceed that too, it's just because this is like. Not, how to say, it's artsy, but in a very different department, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's keep, you know what I'm saying, let's Cool kids know me, you know what I'm saying? Because they know me, they're cool, you know what I'm saying? Goes both ways. Kill the scene like zero seven. Kill the scene like you know what I'm saying? Zero zero seven like Bond, James Bond, you know what I'm saying? Zero zero seven. I stay glued on. The way they have used, you know what I'm saying? Bond, you know what I'm saying? For you know what I'm saying? Zero zero seven, and then they said glued on again. You know what I'm saying? Using the same word, but then having different meanings on you know what I'm saying? Either of the lines, I like that. I like that. Whoa! 
rock element to it, but it got a very rock element to it as well. Like the whole, you know what I'm saying, how it starts off with the electric guitar and shit, and you can hear it at the back as well, you know what I'm saying? It got a very bouncy, you know what I'm saying, very like, very, not overwhelming, but a very confrontational type of, you know what I'm saying, bounce type of beat to it, you know what I'm saying? It just unintentionally just makes you move to it, you know what I'm saying? And then the way Deep Your Life has designed, you know what I'm saying, and composed his lyrics and flow, you know what I'm saying, to the beat is just perfect as well, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a very happy-go-lucky, very like, you know what I'm saying, very uplifting type of vibe to it, you know what I'm saying, so far. And then with the whole colors going on, you know what I'm saying, it goes from like a very vintage retro to very pop art-esque, you know what I'm saying, and there's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, different things that's happening with colors and different settings, and then him going up the hill, going down the hill, that's like a visual, you know what I'm saying, that we saw a lot. Maybe that, you know what I'm saying, just pertains to his, you know what I'm saying, journey, you know what I'm saying, as an artist. Or maybe it's just, you know what I'm saying, kind of reminds me of um, the... What's it called again? Like the struggle of Sisyphus, you know what I'm saying? Where the guy is pushing up the rock and then, you know what I'm saying, it goes down and he has to push it back up, you know what I'm saying? Because he never reaches the top and that's how the gods, you know what I'm saying, curse him, you know what I'm saying? I think it's kind of like a myth, uh, it's like a part of a mythology, you know what I'm saying? And then there is a philosopher called Albert Camus, you know what I'm saying? I believe he was a French philosopher. He talks about, you know what I'm saying, the journey uphill is enough to fill a man's heart, you know what I'm saying? It's not about the destination, it's just the journey, you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what they're showing with that visual, I'm not sure, anyway. Okay, he like a little jabs, you know what I'm saying, to the Korean hip hop scene before he said something about the Korean hip hop scene, you know what I'm saying? He said, Where's my pay? You know what I'm saying? I'm paying my dues, but you're not paying me, you know what I'm saying? What you're supposed to pay me, and then over here, I've been stacking my authenticity, you know what I'm saying? He said, I've been original, you know what I'm saying? Can't understand Korea sometimes. Why is it that foreign fans are quicker to realize that? <sighs> and then he's sad, just like I did, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing, you know what I'm saying, with DPR and like motherfuckers like Epic High sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I do feel like the fan base is more foreign than Korean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just the sound, maybe it's just how they approach things. I'm not quite sure, you know what I'm saying, why they're bigger in certain parts of the, you know what I'm saying, a world than the other, you know what I'm saying, or where they're actually from. I don't quite understand, you know what I'm saying, how, you know what I'm saying, the math works in that aspect. But over here, he just hits, you know what I'm saying, the nail in the coffin. It's just like, he's just straight out asking, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, I don't understand Korea, you know what I'm saying? I've been paying my, you know what I'm saying, homage, I've been paying my views, I've been doing what I can, you know what I'm saying? And I've been original compared to all these, you know what I'm saying, pretentious motherfuckers in the scene, you know what I'm saying? And still, you guys don't realize that yet, you know what I'm saying? Fire, man. Talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. <laughs> I love how he says my foot is on the pedal and then, you know what I'm saying, the beat speeds up. I'm trying to catch up with the visuals. Maybe I wasn't concentrating too much in the beginning because I was going too high from the song. You know what I'm saying? The sonics of it. But there are times where DPR is alone, live is alone, and there are times where Candy is alone. You know what I'm saying? There is a part where they both put on these extraterrestrial glasses. They're having fun. You know what I'm saying? They got a little romance thing going on. Um, live gets hit, hits by a car. You know what I'm saying? And he dies. Maybe that is just symbolizing, you know what I'm saying, like when they put on their goggles or whatever, maybe they're just dreaming, you know what I'm saying, so when he dies, like, she wakes up, maybe that could be one, you know what I'm saying, interpretation, another interpretation could be just like, 
they're showing the depicting the afterlife maybe you know what i'm saying there are a lot of things that kind of come to my head you know what i'm saying just like theory wise but obviously you know what i'm saying they're not really grounded i'm just reaching here you know what i'm saying for explanations perhaps but anyway i gotta this is the type of shit i gotta watch a couple times to really get it anyway. <laughs> She is like DPLI's version of Mido to, you know what I'm saying? Who Mido is to Ian, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Candy is to Lab. I'm not sure. Maybe they're parallels. Maybe they're, you know what I'm saying? Different shit going on within the conglomerate. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what's happening, you know what I'm saying? Um, perfectly, but you know what I'm saying? I think I have touched upon the nerve with some of the, you know what I'm saying? Things that might be going on on the, you know what I'm saying? Visual. So feel free to tell me what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Or any theories that you guys might have. Because I know with, you know what I'm saying? Deeper Lab is always, you know what I'm saying? Different concepts, different layers to things. But this just seemed like they were having fun though. That's what it seemed like to me as well. And with the whole colors as well, I know with Deeper Lab is a lot of, you know what I'm saying, color schemes that go on in the music video, you know what I'm saying, and this is kind of like a music video that I feel like they put all the different colors that they used before in one video, that's what I kind of seemed like, you know what I'm saying, but anyway man, this was super dope once again, man, I can't wait for DPR Live, you know what I'm saying, new album to come out, shout out to the whole team, man, DPR Live, Ian, you know what I'm saying, DPR Ram, I believe, Cream, you know what I'm saying, all you motherfuckers, man, we see the work you guys put in, and hope you guys get the recognition and the love that you deserve in Korea, you know what I'm saying, as well as, you know what I'm saying, in foreign countries and whatnot, man, but just keep working, man, do y'all thing, man, and obviously you guys will get there, man, the hard work speaks for itself, man, but Anyway, this is it for today. Keep liking, subscribing, all oh, thank you, man. We